Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. And let's start the timer. So, TNT, there, uh, there was a, a mystery rocket that crashed into the moon. And no one has claimed that they were the ones that crashed it on the moon. <laughs> What? And this it says NASA scientists are baffled by a mystery spacecraft that crashed into the moon, creating two large craters. The rocket has been traced through space since 2015, but no one has claimed it. And it hit the lunar surface on March 4th, but it ended up creating two craters, which leads them to believe that like it had like two ends, like because usually it would create one crater. And I cut off the article or whatever, but so no one they they. They seem to think it's a Ch- it was a Chinese thing, and they just don't haven't claimed. Uh, yeah. But no one has claimed on Earth that it was theirs that cl- that crashed into the moon or whatever. Um, was there anything in it? No, I mean, I mean, they have obviously they haven't went to the moon to figure it out. But there was like, yeah, they, there was like a craft and it crashed into the moon. Maybe it's, it's just yeah, dude, this weird aliens. That, not aliens. <laughs> I'm not going to go there initially, but I, I will say that that's weird. It could have been even like a private company. I mean, but in 2015, Elon wasn't flying. I mean, yeah, but who's to say it couldn't have been somebody else? Oh, could have yeah. been the freaking Rothschilds. Very true. Please do not come for me. You know what's interesting is uh, I saw I saw an article uh the other day and it was something about you know how like you know inflation's going up and like the middle class is eroding and all this stuff you know what i mean and it was like and i never had really thought of it like this and it was like you know the average person's out here where like their basic needs like food and shelter and energy are becoming more and more and more of their budget and people are starting to like fall into like destitution and wondering like how they're going to pay their bills Mm. and then you have billionaires just like flying into space with their own private aircrafts and it's like the disparity of like yeah. This dude's like, oh, I'm gonna fly up to space today for two million dollars worth of fuel. Just like, yeah, I mean, it's no different from the olden times. To like, if you think of like medieval times where you had kings living in giant castles the size of uh, Buckingham, freaking right, throwing food away like crazy because yeah. they just make giant feasts. Why and... there's literally like people in that very kingdom who are like starving and dying and living the on the street, stealing bread, losing their hand because they couldn't even eat bread that night. Yeah, so. so I guess it's I guess like that's been it's, the history of time. It's that's always the been history that. of humankind, man. The, the 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 certain people who by luck or opportunity or by hook or by crook, I guess that's where the phrase "It's good to be king" comes from. Ends up at the top. And then they stay there and then they stay there because their family stays there and then their family's friends get to stay there and everybody else is like, yeah, how'd you do it? I knew a guy. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And I mean, that's kind of how it is now. And then they're like, no, it's all fair. And I'm like, no, not all fair because your lineage has been eaten off of good fortune quotation fingers and good education yeah. and good well, uh, it's, it's cause opportunities. Even in like, uh, celebrities and stuff like it's it's so funny that like over time you'll see all of a sudden this new person comes out of nowhere and then you're like oh that's so and so's kid and you're like oh wow Every single time yeah it's always like oh that's that's goldie hahn's daughter or whatever you know what i mean and you're like oh so they just it just keeps it in the family what was the one i just found out it was uh kyrie irvin's uncle like I had no idea, but Kyrie Irving's uncle is uh is is famous. Oh oh, like a like a famous actor or something. Yeah, his uncle, his uncle is Rob Strickland. Rob Strickland, what was he in? He he was he was used to be a player. He was, oh, a player in the NBA. Yeah. Oh yeah, and and it's interesting. It, well, and see, and that's the thing. It's not yeah. It's not always like. It's not always this direct. It could be, like, uncles and things like that because, mm-hmm. yeah, if, like – because, yeah, think about it. If, like – I don't have any brothers or sisters, right? Yeah. But, like, you but you do. And imagine if you were older than them and you were, like, an NBA player and then you're like, man, my nephew's really good at basketball. Yeah, like, be, yeah, exactly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook – I'm going to get him – I'm going to call my coach and say, hey. Guess like, what? I know what an NBA player needs to do. Rob Strickland was – he was also, like, a media personality for a while. Um, but it was like, yeah. So, yeah, you have an uncle who's an NBA player. He's like – I know a development camp. I know some guys. I can get you into one of the shootouts. You know, I right? Know. I can get you into the right people. You got to have the skills, but I can tell yeah. you the right way to 
And mind you, I guess that's all chance, but like, you know, if you have like a, a stagnant lineage. <laughs> Yeah, like if the best yeah, thing, I mean, if the best thing your mom ever did was work at Taco Bell, like I mean, yeah. you got an in there, I guess. Exactly. Some things are gonna fall into your lap, man. It's always, it's not, it's never about what you know. It's about who you know. It really is. It really and, is, and, and it really sucks because it, I mean, and not to say that people don't come out of nowhere with real talent and mm-hmm. break that through that glass ceiling. Exactly. But but you have to be that good, that, right? Yeah, you have to be better. You right. It's be like better. you have to come out with something new. That that makes you different and whatever. Yeah. But yeah, but if yeah, like all these famous people's kids, like yeah, they're like, of course they're gonna get into like acting classes and be taught by their parents and get the opportunity <laughs> to apply for commercials and, and it's it's fine, man. I mean, I, I can't fault these individuals for this type of behavior because that's kind of what's ingrained into us as uh all throughout our lives as right. adults, especially like being a male, you're you're supposed to imprint those same ideals. I want my kid to be better than I did, not as good as I did. You know? Yeah, yeah, right, right, exactly. And it's, I mean, and, and I'm not gonna lie, yo, like it. I don't blame that. Like you said, I don't blame them for taking that advantage because, like, we're only dealt the cards we're dealt, right? Yeah, like, that's so what parents do for their kids, man. It's the only the only part of it you can control is not being entitled, selfish brat. <laughs> Like you, you can control your no, personality no, because they're human and they're entitled to those moments. Yeah, but I mean, but you can also control your personality and how you treat people who are yeah. not as well off as you. Because you can be, you can have all the money in the world and treat a homeless guy like a person. Yeah, or you can be yeah. like, "Ew, get the hell out of here." You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. it's, it's your personality is the one thing you can control. Uh, there was I can't remember who said it, but a comedian said one time is that. You can only walk around so long with people kissing your ass before you believe that people should kiss your ass. Right. Right. If if your world is full of yes men that people never tell you no. And a bunch of fans like, woo. Right. I mean, how can you not get a big head? You're going to be like, okay, yes, I get it. Woo. Like, somebody just, I've never been wooed. I'm going to tell you that right now, Jonas. Nobody has ever wooed when I entered the room. I mean, you know, I don't even know what that feels like. I mean, I think I, I remember a party when people <laughs> cheer, cheer when you showed up, yo. I mean, people, people dynamite's like when you here, woo. Yeah, okay, dynamite's baby. here. I mean, I, you can't say that's never happened. You okay. walked into a party, everyone's like, woo, oh, what God. up, dude? Jonas, I'm a selfish, entitled prick. Yeah, but it's not like it's not, but it's not like it's different than walking into the bar and everyone's like, oh my God, dynamite's here. Yeah, or walking into an arena, right? Yeah, and exactly. Everybody like drink. You walk out on stage and people just go nuts. Yeah, yeah Michael Jackson style. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, just girls fainting from you standing there. Dude, Imagine the complex he had to have. Or someone man. throws their panties at you or something. That like, shit becomes commonplace. I couldn't even imagine. Yeah, I, I barely have a girl ever compliment me ever. Let alone, let alone someone like throwing their panties yeah. at you, walking up like, "Oh my god, John!" I can't even yeah. talk and stuff. Just sets herself on fire. <laughs> I'm just like, what? I just walked into the room. Hi. Yeah. Hi, lady. I just walked in. I just I came for a loaf of bread. Yeah. This and, is a Wendy's. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, it's like it's it's an interesting world because, yeah, like you lose that in a, autonomy, right? Like you can't just go get a loaf of bread. Like you think Kyrie Irving's just going to get a loaf of bread at 7-Eleven? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, and I get it. I did it. But on <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it's like you, you'll hear people who are wealthy um, say is that they, they wish they could do like normal, normal things. But, yeah, I guess what's more what's more important. Uh, it is, uh, you know, do you want the ability to do whatever you want? Yeah. Financially or the ability to like go anywhere you want and not be bothered, but not have the money to like. I guess the best of both worlds is like be famous for something that people don't know your face. Yes, or not even. I guess not even being famous is just being wealthy and people not know your face. Well, yeah, I guess because people fame, want yeah. the money and not the fame yeah, all the time. You're right. But you got to think it's like it, there's definitely like Princess Diana. She was a, a victim of being famous. Yeah, where, I mean, she died like, a, a, a ch- being chased by the paparazzi. Yeah, but you know, with that being said, right? Speaking of Princess Diana, <laughs> like <laughs> I, what I never understood about all that is like, something? yeah, yeah, you don't want to be like have your photos taken, but like. You were so adverse to your photo being taken that you're going to drive like 80 miles an hour in a car. Like just, I mean, just sit in the car and let them take your picture. Put a, put a, put up a, put up a magazine or something like put up a, a, a blinder. Yeah. Like, why are you in a high speed chase with paparazzis? That's the one thing I never understood about that whole situation. Like, I don't, I mean, I, look, 
if I have a, a nice car and I'm going to be like, hey, see if you can lose them. <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. I guess honestly. you're not wrong, but obviously driving fast in the streets not not a good yeah, idea. No. So, anyways, go to thecreasedown.com. That's where we have our stuff for Jonas TNT. Oh uh, yeah.